kids, Miss Kulkarni here. Let's continue with our assets and bases and let's learn some calculations about pH and pOH. Before that, let's find out what the term means. It is self-ionization of water. As it suggests, by itself, water can get ionized into what? Into hydronium ion and hydroxide. Now remember, hydronium ion actually is formed from hydrogen ion dissolving in water. So we can actually use that as hydrogen and hydroxide ion as the products for self-ionization. And there is this formula which tells you that the product of both hydrogen and hydroxide ion is 1 times 10 to negative 14. Now depending upon the concentration which one is higher, you can predict if your substance is an acid or if it's a base. So if you have hydrogen ion in excess than hydroxide ion, obviously you have an acid solution. If your hydrogen ion is less than hydroxide or in other words if you have hydroxide ion in excess then you have a base or alkaline solution and if they both are exactly equal then we got a situation when we have a neutral solution all right there is one more thing to keep in mind we have also pH scale and pH scale begins with zero and ends up with 14. There is a midpoint 7 there. And then we can find out which is acid, base or neutral just based upon pH values. If the pH value comes between 0 and 7, then that is an acid. If pH value comes between 7 and 14, then that is a base. And if it is exactly 7, then you got a neutral substance. Okay. Now, there are some formula which you need to remember. And the easy way to remember is this cycle. This cycle, you can go left or right. And as long as you arrive at the destination, it's perfectly fine. So, we have pH going to pOH. This step. You can use the formula pH and pOH is equal to 14. When you are going to go from hydrogen to hydroxide ion or vice versa, you can use the formula. The product of both these is equal to 1 times 10 to negative 14. Over here, when you are going from pOH to OH, look at that. We got two different formula. One of them is relating pH with hydroxide concentration and hydroxide is tend to the negative value of either pH or pOH. And this is actually the basic definition of pH or pOH. pH is negative log of hydrogen ion and pOH is negative log of hydroxide ion. So again, as long as we arrive at the right answer, it's perfectly fine which way we are going. So for example, if the given thing to us was pH and we need to find out how much is hydroxide ion. You can start your journey from here go to pOH and from there you can go to OH or you can also go from pH to H and from hydrogen ion to hydroxide ion concentration. So both the methods will give same answers. Alright let's actually begin with solving some problems. Here is the first problem in which what is given to us hydrogen ion concentration is given and we need to find out hydroxide ion concentration. Also we need to find out if the solution is acidic or basic. So let's list what is given that's hydrogen ion 4.3 10 to negative 6 and I am going to use the formula the product of both is 1 times 10 to negative 14. So 
how do you get hydroxide it will be simply dividing this by hydrogen ion concentration or actually that is 4.3 10 to negative 6 and when we solve what do we get we get the answer 2.3 10 to negative 9 okay here's what we can do we can look at the value of both hydroxide and hydrogen concentration and decide which one is higher and clearly you know this is higher than hydroxide since we have hydrogen ion more than hydroxide ion it is an acidic solution alrighty let's do next problem in this hydroxide ion is given we need to find out hydrogen ion and again we need to find out if it is an acidic or basic solution so let's list our hydroxide and now we know using the same formula if we need to find hydrogen ion it is divided by this 1.6 10 to negative 5 and what do we get we end up getting 6.25 times 10 to negative 10 check again we have hydroxide value is that and that is the hydrogen value which when you think is more it is of course hydroxide ion more than hydrogen ion that makes it a basic solution let's look at a new problem now in this problem pOH is given as 5.6 and we have to find out the pH also we need to write down if it's acidic or basic I am going to use simply pH plus pOH is equal to 14 pH is unknown and what is pOH that is 5.6 and when we solve that pH is 14 minus 5.6 which is 8.4 this is more than 7 so what does it make it makes it a basic solution let's look at the new question now in this question pH is 4.2 and we need to find out hydrogen ion concentration the way we select the formula is looking at the given and find and there is this formula which is straightforward turn to negative pH so if I plug in I get 10 to negative 4.2 and what do I get that comes 6.3 10 to negative 5 how do I know if it's acidic or basic? I actually can just look at pH value. 4.2 is less than 7. So it will be acidic. Let's move on to the next problem. What is the pH of a solution if hydrogen ion concentration is known? So that's my given. And we need to get the value for pH. The formula which combines both these is pH is negative log of hydrogen ion concentration or it's negative log of 5.5 10 to negative 10 for which I get the answer 9.3. If 9.3 is the pH value, obviously the substance is basic substance. Let's move on to some more problems in this question pOH is given to us as 3.4 and we need to find out hydrogen ion concentration and also predict if it's acidic or basic knowing pOH we can actually find out hydroxide concentration which is 10 to negative pOH so it will be 10 to negative 3.4 and 
that is simply 3.98 times 10 to negative 4. If you know the value of hydroxide, you can find hydroxide ion concentration by simply dividing the product of both the ions, which is 1 times 10 to negative 14, by the hydroxide concentration. And what do we get? We end up getting the answer as 2.5 times 10 to negative 11. So we got the answer for hydrogen ion concentration. When we look at both of these, clearly you can see that the hydroxide ion concentration is more. That means it is a basic substance. Okay. The next question actually is what is the hydroxide ion concentration? And we solve this question right away here. Moving on with next problem, pH is 7.9. Without any calculation, you can predict if it's acidic or basic. 7.9 is more than 7, so it is a basic substance. How do we get hydroxide? There are different ways of doing. I'm going to show you one simple method. pH and pOH total is 14. So using that formula, pOH will be 14 minus the value for pH that is 7.9 and that is 6.1. Once we have pOH, you can find out hydroxide ion concentration as 10 to negative pOH or it is 10 to negative 6.1 which is 7.9 10 to negative 7 and here is one more problem find out the hydrogen ion concentration in the previous example if you know the pH value 7.9 you can use hydrogen ion is 10 to negative pH which is 10 to negative 7.9 which means it is 1.3 and 10 to negative 8 molar. So finding value for pH, pOH, hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion concentration is nothing but simply going around the cycle for acids and bases. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in next video. Until then, bye bye.